Hi, I want to talk to you quickly about Reiki. Have you been put off the idea of Reiki? Perhaps you think it just doesn't work or, you know, because you can't see it. You can't, you can't actually see it, you can't see what it's doing, you can't really measure it. Maybe for you that means it's just not going to work. Or perhaps you've never really understood what it is or how it could work. But, you know, really, when you think about it, there are plenty of things that you believe in without seeing them. You know they're there, you don't need proof, you just accept and they they produce a result and that is why you go along with the belief that it's it's working, such as electricity, a good example. Uh, it's something that you use every day, you can't see it but you know it works, it has a result and in fact you really couldn't function without electricity in the modern world now. And um, how about the idea of oxygen, something else that you can't see, you know it's there, you trust it's there without even thinking about it. You know you can just take your next breath and that will in fact keep you alive. So the idea of Reiki being something that you can't actually see or really understand what it is doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't work. People from all walks of life are experiencing Reiki, even medical professionals who are trained to measure things, to have tangibles, are finding that they, they can't explain how it works, but they know for themselves that it makes them feel better. I have, I have GPs and nurses come to me quite often for Reiki, and one nurse said to me the other day, well, you know, m my colleagues and I, we, we think this kind of thing is a load of rubbish really but but also we think that it works so what is that statement what does that actually say they they're trained really to not accept things unless there is scientific measurable definitive proof um but for them the proof lies in in how they feel themselves even if they don't understand it and a, a, a nurse practitioner had a treatment the other day and said afterwards thank you so much um, I slept for nine hours and my chest feels lighter and I feel much happier so it worked it worked for her and she didn't know why but she accepted it so I just want to explain to you what it is Reiki is just a way to manage energy it doesn't have to be a woo-woo you know believe it and it will work thing um, energy is everywhere we are energy energy is in everything um, the spark of life is what we're talking about and a Reiki practitioner or a healing practitioner is able to take that and harness it and focus it on a person or a, or a thing and the effect of that will be to return you to a state of balance we all get knocked off balance all the time particularly those who are helping others uh, and in, on a daily basis, perhaps as a job, if you're if you're a, a nurse, for example, or a teacher, or a carer, or a counsellor, or a coach, or a doctor, or a parent, you you may find that at the end of your day you're just exhausted because you've been giving out, giving out, giving out, giving out your energy, and you know. Over a period of time, that will result in some physical effect. The effects of stress are well documented, and you know may begin as insomnia, um, aches and pains, unexplained aches and pains, perhaps digestive issues, perhaps then moving on to feeling low, getting depressed, being going on medication for that, not being able to come off that, um, and all the time not knowing quite how you're ever going to get back into feeling in charge, in control, feeling vibrant, feeling able to, to live the life that you want. So this is why I think it's really important for people to understand about personal energy management. I don't know why it isn't taught in school. We learn about diet, we learn about exercise, we're, we're taught how important those things are. But what about energy? What about what you give out? What about what you absorb? We are all like sponges, some of us more than others, but we're like sponges who can absorb feelings from other people. And you know yourself, if you go into a room 
where two people have had a horrible row, you'll be able to feel that yourself in the room sometimes. Um, some airplane. Never mind. It's what recording what happens when you're recording videos. Um, yes, you can feel that. Likewise, if you're at a concert and everyone is feeling magical and fantastic, it's so infectious. And that's what we say. Laughter is infectious. Feelings are infectious. And in a way, you know, that's something that we forget when it comes to negativity. So Reiki is just a way to effectively deal with that and to be the best you can be. Imagine, imagine if you had a way to every day clear yourself so you felt you were starting from fresh, a blank canvas, just you there, none of that stuff, none of the worries. And imagine if you could then use that connected, balanced, clear, vibrant, radiant energy to do your job better, to not get impatient with the kids, to get on with your partner better, Imagine if you had that at your fingertips. You could be the best that you could be. So it's just one day to learn how to do these things, these tools that I can teach you. Um, if you have any questions at all, please ask them once you've seen this video and I'll be able to see them and get back to you. Or if you want to find out more, call me, text me. Um, I'm really happy to answer any questions. And uh, I, can, I can teach you how to do this for yourself or I can treat you as a one-off, you can have an experience of it so that you too can see how you might not believe it, but you will feel better. So thanks for listening.